Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we're looking at the demographic transition model and population pyramids. So, a demographic transition model is basically a model that shows how birth rates and death rates can change a different country through stages of development. So if we start off with stage one, although no country is actually stage one, there are some rural areas and countries and places like the Amazon rainforest in Brazil that are stage one. Now for stage one you would expect birth rates to be very high and death rates to be very high. This is because um, lots of children have to be born to keep with the people who are dying and there is no such thing as family planning in, um, in a lower developed country or a stage one country. So high death rates would also be attributed to things like poor water supply, um, bad health care, there would be a lot of disease and the economy would be very bad. Now when on to a stage two country you can expect the death rates to fall however the birth rates still remained high. Now this ultimately means that the population begins to grow rapidly and this is the main feature of a stage 2 country. Now an example of one of these countries would be Peru, Sri Lanka, Thailand, these are all stage 2 countries. Now often the death rates begin to fall because healthcare is starting to get slightly better but it's still not perfect and family planning still haven't been introduced yet. Now when on to a stage 3 country the main feature is that birth rates now are starting to fall. This is because contraception and family planning has been introduced and people are being educated about the fact that families are expensive. Now death rates are still falling because of course medical care is still beginning to get better, water supply and accommodation are all improved. An example of a stage 3 country would be China or Brazil in general. In a stage 4 country, birth rates and death rates have levelled out. Now, of birth rates are low as the society is advanced and therefore women choose for careers and smaller family. And this is to have a better quality of life. And death rates remain low because, again, there's loads of medical care, there's education, there's everything you need in a country. And this, it used to be the top stage, however I'll come on to that later. And a country like this is the US or the UK, um, France, there's, there's lots of countries at this. And this is really the, the, what you'd expect of a very developed country. As I mentioned before, where there used to be four stages, there is now a fifth stage. Now this stage is where death rate is higher than the birth rate. This isn't because of any bad medical care, it's simply because the people don't want as many children because they realise children are expensive and they want to have a career outside it. Now it may sound great to be a stage 5 country, however it is not that good because the older population starts to rise and that means that more people are becoming dependent on the economically active. So a country like this is Japan or Germany and it is a problem, however because there is no children it means as the, popu as the population starts to decrease and the uh, older generation comes in, ultimately the economically active are going to have to work to provide money for the older generation and for themselves in a few years time. Now, I said that we were going to go into population pyramids. Now, we're not going to study a stage one uh, country for a population pyramid simply because there aren't actually any countries uh, in, sta in stage one. So we'll go straight on to stage two. And the, what the country I've chosen is Lesotho, which if you don't know, is in South Africa, a country on itself in South Africa. Now, you can see very clearly that the birth rates are very high. So but not many people live over 34 years old. Now that, that just shows it all, how an LEDC looks quite like a pyramid. However, this is, it starts off like a pyramid 
and it suddenly goes in. And that is what you would expect from an LEDC and a country that isn't very developed. When on to a stage three country, there's no country better to choose than China, the most densely populated country in the world, especially in the East. Now, what you'd expect from a stage three country is to start seeing a bulge in the middle, the economically active people. Now, there are less birth rates, which is a good thing, of course, because it shows that families don't need that many kids for labor and everything. And in China, there are less birth rates. In the middle, however, from 35 to 39, that's the most densely populated um, age group. Now, that is a good thing for a country because they can earn money for the young dependents and the old dependents who are dependent on that money to live. Now, for a stage four country, I've chosen the United Kingdom, which is where I come from personally. Now, this it just looks like it's just a line going up, basically. Of course, there's, that's not going to happen, but there isn't much difference from people from 0 to 4, then to 55 to 59. The only start times to drop in is up when it starts to get to 70 years old, when people start to die. But again, it's, it, the average age um, in UK is actually 82 for females and 78 for males. So of course, it's got a high age population. And of course, you can also see that there's not very much birth rate in the UK because people don't need to have children, although the birth rates are still just higher than the death rates. So for a stage five country, I've chosen Germany or Deutschland if you want. Now what's typical of stage five countries is the birth rates are extremely low. This is because people don't need to have children as children are expensive. Now, the most common age in Germany here is 45 to 49. Now just imagine, this is actually a worry because as this population gets older, the whole population gets older and not enough people are being born to keep a young gen generation. This will result in lots of people lot, getting lots of old dependents. Now with all these old dependents, you need people who are economically active to earn money for them. But you're not gonna have these people because there weren't enough young people. This is a problem for Germany, and this is the problem in stage five countries. The birth rates are too low. But again, they are still a developed country, but just watch out for that because birth rates are very low. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you soon. Bye. I will now take you that day. So there's a group with the Black Hand Grand, and this was a terrorist organization.